recently, and by recently I mean actually recently as opposed to the last video where it wasn't that recently, I, I am I'm in an uh, astronomy class, right? And uh, they're talking about space, you know, as you do. And uh, it got me thinking about faster than light travel. <coughs> we all... We... <coughs> We all know what they'd rather have us blindly believe is that faster than light travel is impossible. And I think that is total bull's anus because it's contradictive of literally everything that they say because Mr. Einstein is like, you know, relativity, bro. That's what's up. My reasoning is, so, example, okay, ready? You are in one spot. Try to imagine that real quick. You are in a spot. And there are two other things that you could see. And they're moving, they're like they're very far apart, obviously. And you're far away from them, obviously. But you can see them, you can observe them and stuff. And they're moving together. And they're going like really fast. Because light is at least 20 fast. But if you're going 15 fast, each heading towards each other, imagine you change positions from the spot you are in, observing the two objects colliding together 15 fast, to one of those objects. Now you're not moving at all, but the other object's going 30 fast. But if light is 20 fast, and it's going 30 fast, then it's going faster than light. Therefore, faster than light travel is possible. That's why I don't like NASA, because it stands for not at all a cool company, so go away. And, and space stuff. So, uh, goodbye. But, uh, um, by the way, NASA, uh, when you review my resume, can you just disregard this, this whole video, please? My, you know, maybe... Just disregard this whole video. Thank you, bye.